Joseph Stalin killed 14 million people. Adolf Hitler killed 17 million people. Leopold of Belgium, another tyrant, killed 15 million people. These are three dictators of 20th century. Their ruthlessness is recorded in history. They were humans, just like all of us, with two ears and two eyes. In a world where humans kill this wide, vampires aren't that much horrifying. Vampires are killers in myth, but dictators are killers in reality. El Conde is about one of them, Augusto Pinochet, and Pablo Larin, the director, has an interesting creativity to portray him as a vampire. I like the idea and I'm fascinated by Pablo's imagination. Dictators and vampires have something in common. This movie makes them fun and this is its unique charm. El Conde means the Count. It's a title notorious Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet preferred to be called with. Pablo Larin changes his nature and takes him out of humanity and turns him into a vampire. In the movie, Pinochet is 250 year old, born and raised in France, was a soldier in the king's army, witness to the French Revolution, fled France, went to South America, and found a country without a king in order to become a king, and that country was Chile. All of these early scenes flow gracefully and artistically. These scenes literally celebrate violence, bloodsuck, disgusting ruthless sequences of cutting, killing, and eating people. However, I have no complaint, that's what vampires do. This ferocity remains throughout the plot, and until end we occasionally see extreme cruelty and sheer brutality. Pinochet, now an old man, after having been an absolute tyrant in Chile, has taken refuge in his mansion on a remote island. At night, we see him flying to the city to find fresh flesh. He wears his military uniform and it is bellowing in the wind. Hope Batman doesn't see this. From the height, he selects his victims, descends and pierces the knife into their chests, removes their hearts, carries them back to the island and places them in his subterranean freezer, and at times blends these hearts in a mixer and drinks. News of a killer who extracts the hearts of his victims draws Pinochet's children to his residence. They want to know why their father goes hunting after yes, and naturally they are also anticipating inheritance. Hearts give Pinochet fresh blood and cause him to live longer. This is exactly what his children don't want. The more he lives, the later they become rich. Interestingly, Pinochet himself longs for death, and sadly he thinks he's honorable to die. He wants to die not because of the myriad lives he has taken, but because he is recently accused of theft, an accusation he cannot accept. This family gathering is disrupted by a nun who is an accountant and is invited by one of Pinochet's daughters to read the documents and examine the piles of papers Pinochet has hidden in the cellar. This son has also a mission from the church to exorcise Pinochet. She arrives, organizes the documents, uncovers the family's hidden assets and accounts, and then at last something happens between this young woman and Pinochet, which I leave untold. Another subject I don't want to reveal is the narrator, who vividly describes of the violent scenes with enthusiasm and precision. Her voice is strong, her descriptions are definite, however sometimes she prevents us from discovering the situations, the characters and the relationships between them, and quickly assigns labels to them. That's bad, a drawback, because cinema should let the audience discover, let the pictures speak on its own. It's better to convey information and feelings through conventional dialogues and facial expressions rather than relying on voice of a narration. El Conde is a dark comedy that doesn't shy away from portraying violence openly. It can be occasionally slow-paced, boring, but it always knows whom it talks about and what it wants to make of him. Although the plot isn't flawless, I admire Pablo Larraín's keen insight. Vampires are supposedly symbols of terror, but if we look back through the history, we will have to confess they are more human than dictators. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel, like my video and comment on it. I'm curious what you think about my reviews.